welcome to Whitlock Garage. We are United by Trucks. Today's episode, hosted by yours truly, Two Trucks Ron, aka Money Money. We're in the Battle of Alabama. Got the man Rick in front of me. Robbie's putting at the rear end. Kicking in old Pecos. Good morning, guys. It's Friday morning today we're headed down to Battle and Bama still got quite a few things to do around here before we can leave I'm trying to leave in about 30 minutes we're about to get these clothes put in that suitcase and of course as you all know if you got cameras and GoPros anything else you have to have all the chargers and the cords and the headphones to edit while you're gone so we're gonna get all this loaded up real quick. Teddy's in the garage waiting on us. Next time you see us, we'll probably be on the road, headed to the varsity. We're meeting up there and then all driving four and a half hours to Mobile, Alabama. So the road to battle in Bama continues. What I like to do is check these hubcaps after I've been driving for a minute just to make sure it's not about to come off. I mean, that one's got some rattle to it, but I don't think it's going to come off. That one's got a little rattle to it, too, but I think it'll be all right. God, there's lots of brake dust on that. And this one here should be pretty good. I did bring an extra one, so. In case we lose one. So we're here at the varsity. Teddy's posted up. We're waiting on everybody else. But while I was here, I was like, I'll get this SD card ready for the new GoPro. Well, they didn't take this off the target. I didn't realize it. So we're just going to have to. Got it. Guess what? We're waiting on Ron. Rick's here, Sarah's here, but Ron ain't here. Nope, Ron ain't here. Two trucks Ron ain't here. But look at this beast. Ooh. Pecos is alive! What took you so damn long? It's traffic, man. Would you leave the house at 10? I left later than I wanted to, but... It was 10.55. No. <laughs> hey, look who shut up. Gas cap in it. Um, what the hell, dude? A lot of pressure built up in there, man. Yeah. You run '87? Yeah, man. Speaking of writing something off, what are you writing it off for, Rick? For SquareBuddy.com LLC, man. That's right. S Q R B D Y dot com. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Two y'all got, any, uh, got any paper towels or anything? I do. Oh man, I don't. A rag, something like that. Paper towel. Got paper towel. This right here is the bumper I need. S Q R B D Y. <laughs> well, that's a sight right there. Pecos over there, photo bombing the scooter. What's the number on this phone? See a number on this phone? Pecos dies on the ride. That's right. There <laughs> goes dies. We're gonna pull it with Teddy, and you're gonna ride shotgun. God, wouldn't that be something? That'd be a terrible ride. Pecos, y'all are seeing it right here first on Whitlock Garage. Has got a lower stance. He is now four. I'd say probably four and a half. Six. 
gonna run off just yet, boys. I gotta throw a quart of oil in. He's thirsty. I know, today. man. He's burning a little. He, he's thirsty. But look, what, one thing I did notice is that it does not burn oil when you're going highway speed. Yeah, I think it's just on startup. Have you noticed anything different? Uh, he cruises right along, so. Man, I love it. It's still getting that LS, though. Still getting LS. Yeah. But a four and a half hour trip on the 305 ain't bad. All right, now I gotta finish putting gas in Teddy. Ron adding a little lubrication to Pecos. Yeah. It's uh. I mean, you can't beat burning a little bit of oil. I turn the other way. I mean, we've been on the road for three hours, two and a half, something like that. I've probably put. I made sure we get into it. Since I bought it, I've probably put. We're probably close to two thousand miles now. That's awesome, man. I mean, I drive this thing pretty much every chance I get. You should. You should. Pecos is a beast. I just ordered drop shackles. They're gonna be here in a day, and I'm gonna do this right before we leave. I was like, oh, this guy's never gonna make it. I didn't freak out. That's kind of how we do things around here. You know, <laughs> last minute. You know he was still doing that shit this morning. That's why he was an oh, hour late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he went to bed last night, and they got up this morning, and yeah. was running an hour right, later than he expected. I'll do the driver's side this morning. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what happened. Man, got him a Red Bull. That's actually not a bad idea. to announce we made it to the hotel safe and sound after uh, quite a few hours of driving these beasts I'm pretty proud of it What's up? what y'all think about it I think we're good I think we finally made it I think so maybe I can wash my face and my hands you need to wash something I do, I'm dirty. <laughs> first things first. Cold beer. Look at this thing. It's not that bad. How heavy is that thing? It's not too bad. No, Says the guy sitting here holding the camera not helping at all. Right, that guy over there. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> Look at this. How many of you have ridden a scooter inside a hotel? We're about to back this thing in. Look at this one. What scooter? What scooter? You're like, all, you're like all the right redneck for a Harley, you know that? All the right redneck for a Harley. All right, guys. Clearly, we're in the room. Ugh. Gonna jump in the shower, drink that cold beer. 
We'll see you at the show. So we made it down to Battle in Bama. This place is amazing. I'll see you over there. Right there, Sarah. Look at Rick. This is Robbie. Ronald. We lock garage. We lock garage every day. Where we are united by what? Trucks. That's it. And plenty of them. Look at all these trucks. No, no, no. All you need to see is this one Look at and that one. That's it. That's all you need. All right, guys. So as I said, we're going to show you some more trucks tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in to Whitlock Garage. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Even when mom and dad watch Whitlock Garage, who wouldn't want to watch it? It's good stuff. Do the music. <laughs>